Hi guys, my name is Rick. I work at Line 6 here in the support department and today I'm going to take you through how to pull up the Podfarm plugin from within Sonar. I'm using the latest version of Sonar, Sonar 8. It's the producer edition. Um, I'm on a Windows Vista uh, PC. This is a 32-bit version of Windows Vista. Um, I've already got Sonar launched. Uh, what I'm going to do is just pull it up from my tray here. I've got a fresh project um, going on here. Um, and basically in Sonar, anytime you want to pull up any plugin, you have to do it from the effects bin. And if you don't know what that is, that's this little guy right here that's uh, pretty much attached to every track you have uh, launched in Sonar. If you don't see the effects bin, make sure down here at the bottom that you have the All tab uh, highlighted because if you have some of these other options uh, connect, uh, clicked on here, you'll notice that in the track view, certain things will change. I like to keep it on the All uh, option just so um, I can see my effects bins. Again, it's up to you. You can uh, uh, customize a template in Sonar if you'd like. Um, so basically what we're going to do is just pull up a plugin. And to do that, all you need to do is right click in the effects bin and browse your plugins. Uh, the Podfarm plugin falls uh, inside the audio effects category and you'll see it down here under line 6 and Podfarm. Now, if you don't see Podfarm as an option here, you may need to manually uh, uh, show Sonar uh, where the, the plugin components are located on your computer. And that's pretty easy to do. Uh, in Sonar, you're going to want to go to Tools up here, and then you're going to want to go to your Cakewalk Plugin Manager. Click on the Plugin Manager, and you'll notice it opens up uh, this little interface here. And what I've done here is, is I've actually manually added the file path for the Podfarm plugin. You'll see it right here. It's uh, your C, C drive, program files, line 6, Podfarm, VST, line 6. And then I went ahead and added it. So if you don't see it, uh, you can manually add it. You can try a rescan by clicking on this button right here. But um, chances are if you don't see it, you're going to need to manually add it. So that's, that's where the, the plugin is located. Okay, so let's pull it up now. I'm going to right click in my effects bin. I'm going to go to audio effects. I'm going to go down to line six and I'm going to go to pot farm. Okay, so the plugin has been launched, but you'll see here that we've got this window here that says no authorized device. Uh, and a lot of you guys come through on the forums and, and uh, also through the phones here um, and complaining of this or, or experiencing this. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right now how to, how to handle this issue. There are two possible things that could be happening here. One, you may have your Line 6 device connected to maybe a powered USB hub of some kind or maybe you have multiple USB devices plugged into your computer that could be causing some sort of communication error and uh, basically just making it so the Podfarm plugin doesn't see your Line 6 device. So the first thing you should do is remove any any powered hubs, uh, non-essential USB devices, you know, everything except for your keyboard and your mouse. Try that first, uh, see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't, then maybe you didn't authorize the plugin. So um, that's pretty simple to do. You do that on Line 6 Monkey. And uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm just going to minimize Sonar. And I'm going to pull up Line 6 Monkey here from our desktop. And I'm running the latest version, 1.27. OK. So basically, the first thing you should notice is when Monkey when Monkey launches, it's going to default to the optional add-ons tab. It's divided up into tabs here. Under Updates tab, everything looks good. Everything's got a green circle with a white check. That means it's all up to date. But you'll notice in the optional add-ons tab here, we have a little explanation of uh, what, what it means to authorize. Uh, so if you see this, click on the Authorize button. What Monkey will do, if you have an internet connection, is it'll connect to our server uh, and it will uh, basically give our server this this asset, and it will uh, the server will determine whether or not it's a legitimate asset. Kick it back to Monkey and say you know yay or nay. So uh, that's what it's doing right now. Looks like the authorization went okay. So let's click okay. The authorization button went away. Pod farm is activated. You'll see it here. Green check. Good to go. Uh, if you see a green check in the optional add-ons tab near Podfarm, that's the authorization. That's the plugin authorization. If you see a green check over here in the updates tab, this is the actual Podfarm application or the standalone app. So that's the difference between those two. 
So let's go ahead and close out a line six monkey. Let's bring sonar back up and let's just delete this this version of uh, pod farm here. Let's uh, let's see if we can right click and delete. All right, let's let's uh, browse for a new a new pod farm plugin. See if it worked. All right. Well, it looks like we're good. We don't have the authorization uh, uh, message anymore, and it uh, looks like Pod Farm is uh, ready to go. So basically, that's it. Uh, hope this is helpful. Um, we'll try to do do more of these tutorials. Maybe cover some other recording applications. How you can find the Pod Farm plugin, you know, within some different recording apps. So uh, yeah, stick around. Thanks.